Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I wanted to come out here and talk about another story that's once again coming from Trailer Park Trash, Tennessee. Now, I don't understand what the hell is going on in Tennessee, but this is the second story in less than two weeks about somebody losing their life over hair weed. Now, if you guys remember last week, I had did this story about the two girls who have not been charged for a triple homicide. They killed a man, his fiance, and her unborn baby. She was pregnant over some hair weave. Now initially the reports came out saying that it was bad customer service and these girls were upset. But then more news and more of the investigation came out and they're saying that basically this man and this woman and their unborn child was killed because these girls were trying to jack them for some hair weaves. So supposedly they were being followed to their home and the girls knew they would have bundles of hair and they caught themselves jacking the couple. So now what's going on in this case is that we have a man named Willie Abstin. Basically he worked in this hair shop with his cousin. His cousin was the owner and it's called Bundles of Hair. And two masked gunmen came into the shop to steal a box of hair weave and they ended up taking this man's life. This entire situation is just heart wrenching. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Looking for the man who robbed a weave shop and killed someone in the process. The shooting happened less than 24 hours ago at the Bundles of Hair shop on Mill Branch in Whitehaven. That's where WMC Action News 5's Jerrica Phillips joins us live with this story. Jerrica. Good morning, Kim. It's sad to believe that this could happen again for the second time within two months. A man has lost his life allegedly over bundles of hair. Now, if you recall, we've done several special reports about the growing supply and demand for hair weaves here in the Memphis market. But for a man to be killed over hair, the victim's family says enough is enough. Relatives on the scene confirmed to us yesterday that the man killed is Willie Abson. Investigators said two men wearing ski mass stormed inside bundles of hair here on Mill Branch Road around four o'clock yesterday afternoon. Upon entering, they stole a box of hair and shot Abstin, who was working inside. He was a man loved by many friends and family, and they say they can't make sense of this murder. When you take a life, you can't get it back. You can't get him back. He don't come back. Now, according to police, the men left the business in a small blue vehicle. One of the suspects is believed to be missing a shoe. Now, these men remain on the run this morning. If you have any information that could help police solve this crime, of course, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers. That number, 901-528-CAP. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. And once again, this entire situation is just unbelievable. It's like it makes no sense. I don't understand how this is the second case in Tennessee in that same area where you have black people owning businesses and they're trying to sell hair weaves because we're the biggest consumers of damn hair weaves. So now they're going to businesses for themselves. They're selling black hair weaves and these people are being murdered over hair. It's like, it makes no sense. Once again, people not valuing other people's lives and putting material possessions above a human life. This entire situation is just really sad and I feel really, really bad for his family. He was well loved, he was well supported and it's sad that he lost his life in this robbery. I hope these killers get brought to justice. It makes no sense that people are losing their lives behind hair weave. Now what I find crazy is that a majority of hair weave stores are owned by Asian people. Now you might have black folks stealing out their store and you know, doing robbery out their store but you rarely ever had black people killing Asian people over hair weaves so I just find it ironic that two black business owners who are selling hair weaves they get killed you know it's just insane nobody should be killed or robbed behind some damn hair if you can't afford to get a good hair weave then you just don't need it you know I just don't understand the whole situation it's just really really sad and unfortunate so anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Once again, concerning Trailer Park Trash, Tennessee, this is the second store in less than two weeks of a black business owner being killed over hair weed. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.